to tie the Antrim Caddis Pupa 2.0. The hook I have in the vise is the Arex FW525. This one is a size 12. The bead is tungsten 2.8 millimeters in black. The thread I'm using is the Semperfly Nano Silk 18 knot in beige. So I'll start with a few turns right behind the bead and then going down and then back up again. We want to have a good base for the next material. Now we'll quickly go through the materials that you need to tie along with me in this video. For the body we'll be using some Antron yarn. This one is in the color cream. And for the body as well we're going to use some opossum dubbing. This one in olive. The legs are going to be some soft tackle. So here I have one feather that I've already used for a few ones. So you just cut off the middle piece and then you're left with two sides of legs and then show this later but you then just pull down the fibers that you don't want and you're left with this V and this one you tie in and then you have your legs. For the thorax I'm gonna use some bronze eye stub and I'm gonna mix this with some SLF spiky dubbing. This one is in the color dark brown and thorax cover is large pearl tinsel and this is gonna be covered with some UV resin. So to start this off we're gonna cut off a piece of the Antron yarn about 10 or 12 centimeters then we're gonna fold this in two so we want to line up the ends and we're gonna tie this in right behind the bead and here you want to pull the material so it doesn't extend over the bead and then tie this down as far as you want to go and here going down right to the vise so you want to get this down into the band and then go up with your thread we're gonna tie down this material back again building up the shape just a little bit and the cool technique with this fly is that we're going to use the Antron yarn as a dubbing loop. So take your opossum dubbing or other fine dubbing and then we're going to make like a little mat that we want to insert in between the two strands of Antron yarn and then we're going to twist this up. You could use a twister or some hackle pliers, but I like to do this by hand. If you have a little bit too much of the dubbing, you can just pull this out. And then we're gonna start at the back. And as you go, you want to cord this up just a little bit more. This is gonna make segmentation also build up the shape of the body so you want this to be a little bit tapered then once you reach your thread you can untwist this material to make it a little bit flatter and then tie it off a few turns over in front over just make sure that this isn't gonna go anywhere then we can cut off the excess, tidy up. And now you can see that we have the shape taking form and the opossum dubbing acting as breeders here on the side. Time for the pearl tinsel. This one we're gonna tie right on top. Taking this few turns back. Now the legs, as I showed before, you want to make this little V 
and this one we're gonna tie in on either side so grab these on either side with your two fingers and then loose turns and if these are too long you can just hold these with your left hand and pull with your right one and I want this to be a little bit shorter There we go, few turns to secure, one in front, then you can cut off the excess. Then the dubbing for the thorax, and we want the thorax to be a little bit wider than the rest. And this spiky dubbing is also gonna add some legs to the fly. Build this up, make sure that you not get your wing buds twisted. Right up to the bead and what I like about the nano silk or the 18 knot is that you can get this behind the bead without even seeing the thread. Get your thorax cover over. Make sure that this one stays in the middle. I like to push this down with a nail and then tie this off. A few turns over, pull this back. A few turns in front. And then the last thing to do is to whip finish. Five. And pull tight, cut away. And then you can cut off the pearl tinsel. Before brushing out the dubbing, what I like to do is to add just a drop of UV resin and make sure that this goes all from the back up and a little bit over the bead as well. Set this with your torch. And then if you would like to, you could also pick out or brush out a little bit of the dubbing. But there we have it, the Antron Caddis Pupa 2.0. If you tie this fly, I would really like to see it. You can find all my social media information in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, happy time.